How to spy on your competitors' Google ads. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to walk you through how to find your competitors' ads for the competitors that you know about, but also the competitors that you don't know exist. So stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to walk you through all of that and a whole lot more. If you like this video, don't forget hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. All right, let's talk about spying on competitors' ads because this is something I love doing. I've just done a quick Google search for Lawyer Sydney, and as you can see here, here are the sponsored ads. And what you'll see here are these three dots here next to each, uh, each ad. So if I click on this, the three dots for this first one, this brings up my ad center. And you can see this is information about this particular advertiser. So I can see that their legal vision, etc. And this little hyperlink here that says see more ads is going to show me more ads from that particular advertiser. Now, essentially what it's doing, it's just opening up the Google Ads Transparency Center tool, which if you just do a quick Google search, you can do a Google search for Google Transparency tool and that brings it up uh, you know, generically here, but it's automatically filtered for that particular advertiser that I clicked on in my Google search. So if you are not sure about who your competitors are, do a Google search for a keyword phrase that you think is relevant to your business, see who's advertising, and then click on those three links. So going back here for this particular advertiser, we can then start filtering some information. So it's showing me ads that for any time, only shown in Australia and for all formats. Now I can select it to be any location. I don't think that's gonna change because these are an Australian company. But if your particular competitor is advertising globally, you can show the ads you know, by certain countries. And I'm also gonna do all formats here. So if I scroll down real quick, you can see here it's got approximately 500 ads. So they do, they spend a lot of money on ads. And here we can see it's a video. This is a text ad. And this is also what it looks like. And I scroll down here and I can see all these different ads. Now, it what it doesn't tell me is it doesn't tell me what keywords they're bidding on. But obviously, I can try and kind of get a sense by the ad copy. So, for example, privacy policy law firm. So there may be, you know... Uh, trying to um, win work for people who've got websites and need a privacy policy, you know, e-commerce stores, perhaps uh, startups, a startup lawyer, uh, purchase agreement. So I can kind of really get a sense of uh, what types of keywords that they're bidding on. If I want to filter, let's say for uh, video ads, I want to see if they're running YouTube ads, I can scroll down here and I can see these videos. So if I click on one of these, it's going to bring it up here. It's going to be shown anywhere tells me when it was last shown and for some reason it is not showing me the ad. So let's just click back. Let's try a different one. Click on this one and it's got three variations and I can click play and it, it is going to, love what... it's obviously going to play that video ad and I can scroll through those three variations. So knowing what I know about Google ads, this is probably a performance max campaign and this is an, might be an automatically generated video or not. And it's going through different variations, maybe of headlines or, or something to do with that. I can go back here and this is the video ads and I can change this filter to be the text ads, which is obviously so they do a whole bunch on Google search. And let's have a look if they're doing display. They've got 29 ads and then they are. So I can get a whole bunch of information about that particular advertiser that way. And obviously I can go through each of these uh, competitors to see what ads that they're running. So let's click on these people, uh, see more ads, and we can see that they're not doing a whole lot. They're basically criminal lawyers, okay? So this ad transparency tool is actually very cool. So if I just go back to it here, and this is obviously without doing any kind of filtering, I can search for a particular advertiser that I may know. So let's just do, I don't know, Weight Watchers, just because they're such a big business. Let's do Weight Watchers, and I can type in any real advertiser that I believe would be advertising, and the same process. I can choose any time, I can choose anywhere, and particular formats, and it's gonna show me all their ads that way. Now, what if I don't know the advertiser, right? I can also type in uh, kind of like keywords. So what I did is I did like dentist, 
right? And I can see all these dental businesses and obviously their ads. It tells me how many ads. So let's say I've never heard of these guys. Let's say new dentistry. And so I can see the ads that these people are running. But interestingly, I can see by the display URL that they're running ads to landing pages. And I can maybe get a sense of the landing pages that they are running by going to ppc.newdentistry.com. So as we can see here, and then these are all their landing pages. So some detective work that I'm doing here. Let's have a look if they're doing any video ads. They are not. Image ads, they are not. Uh, yeah, so they're really just doing text ads. There you go. So obviously you can go and use this tool and type in uh, maybe lawyer. And then you can see all the different types of law firms and the country that they're in. Uh, law line seems to be a big one. And then we can see all the different ads that they are running. So really you can get a lot of intel by using this Google transparency tool or spy tool. You get a lot of intel about your competitors using this tool. So definitely have a play around. Do even a keyword search, as I suggested, to find new competitors and start having a look at the ad copy that they're running and, um, Maybe you can also reverse engineer what landing pages they're sending the traffic to. If you like this video, check out our website, teachtraffic.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome content coming your way. Thanks for watching.